Becky is the name of a cursed doll who always obeys commands. Her most recent owner is Jerry, and he claims to have formed a strong connection with her. If these videos are to be believed... Okay, I got it recording now. Becky, if that was you, do that one more time, please. That was... Whatever that was, was impressive. Make those lights light all the way up like you just did, and hold them. And that wasn't just a one-time occurrence either. Do that again, Becky. Turn out light yellow for me if you're here. Okay, that was green. Can you do yellow? Push a little harder. Jerry doesn't go into any of her history, but she has piercing blue eyes and a serious expression that can make you feel nervous if you look for too long. She doesn't play well with others. She only likes Jerry. Or to further demonstrate, he sets up a Morty doll for her that she likes to push around. For fun, she's already done it once before tonight, and so he tells her to do it again, this time with the camera running for proof. You knocked him off your shelf last time. Can you do it again? The Morty doll has a big head, so maybe it's a little top heavy and fell over on its own. Otherwise, Becky definitely pushed it over. A month later, he decides to test it out again with something different this time. He puts a smaller object in such a way that it would be very hard to push over. He tells Becky to do her thing. Can you knock it over? The doll thinks it over for a bit and decides it has an even better plan. Becky grabs the spirit box and tips it over. I believe it might be her because the spirit box lights up right before it tips over, which never happened before. Perhaps Becky couldn't make the spirit box work and knocked it over out of frustration. Or maybe she was just messing with Jerry by knocking over something different than what he had asked for. Either way, I don't see how that spirit box could fall backward on its own, especially when the MF meter next to it remains upright. Despite this, Jerry keeps working with her and soon, Becky seems to gain control over the spirit box and uses it to communicate with him. Becky, are you here right now? Be At first, Becky's voice is hard to hear, but it becomes clearer over time. Jerry discovers she's possessed by a spirit with a gruesome past. Later that day, he receives another scary response. It to me, it seems like I hear Becky scream from a distance. Bear in mind, these recordings span weeks, and it's consistently the same voice. There hasn't been a single instance of a different voice through the spirit box. It's always Becky talking. It raises some intriguing questions. Also, not every encounter with Becky involves screaming. There's a moment that might seem tender if it weren't so creepy and weird. After weeks of building a close friendship, Jerry has a special request much more critical than changing lights. Can you come out and touch my hand? A lone orb crosses past Becky and then floats directly into the center of his hand. Jerry wasn't expecting a serious answer, but it doesn't matter. He got one, and the bond is complete. He hopes Becky is a good spirit, but if not, it's a perfect example of how easily a demonic force can deceive. It's unlike Jerry, I wouldn't invite a spirit with such abilities to touch me. This scary video doesn't seem to cause him anxiety, and it wasn't a one-time occurrence. 